All right, so in this video, we're gonna cover everything that you need to know to outsource and hire for this business, all right? We're gonna cover where to hire from, how to actually pay your virtual assistants, how to communicate with them, how to train them, and then the overall strategy, obviously, to scaling this, all right? So first and foremost, where should you hire from? There's many different places. Obviously, there's Facebook groups around different niches and different topics. A great place that you can go for like professional jobs is Upwork, although it can be on the more expensive side. Another great place that you can go is Fiverr.com. Obviously, that's freelancers. They're relatively cheap. You can hire pretty much anyone for about $5. This is another highly reputable site that I use a lot in the e-commerce world. I use this to kind of vet and find people to list for me e-com-wise. But one of my favorites, especially for this business specifically, is going to be onlinejobs.ph. The reason being, and you can see here, I've used this one recently. I wasn't logged into Fiverr, but I use Fiverr a lot as well. Those two are my favorites, but onlinejobs.ph is the best for this because you can find somebody in the Philippines super cheap that can do this work for example, $2 an hour, right? And here's an example of one that I literally just posted relatively recently. And you can see it got 200 applications, all of, not all of them, I shouldn't say, but probably 100 to 150 of them were qualified people that were willing to work for $2 an hour and willing to do the job and could do the job well, right? So this is another great place that you can find people to, you know, obviously write scripts for you read voiceovers for you because a lot of them can speak fairly fluent English and speak it well. Now, obviously, if you're hiring for a voiceover, you want to talk to them first. So you don't hire them ahead of time when you're actually going on onlinejobs.ph. Uh, if you're hiring for voiceover, you want to obviously interview them and see how they speak first. But there's no reason that you know a, you can't hire a lot of these people to do voiceovers for you as well. A lot of them speak very good English, okay? So typically what I'll do is I'll add a job post. You want to sign up for this. There's a free version. And that gets you access to be able to post a job. Then you'll get the applications, and then you can message the applicants from there. From there, you want to interview them and then bring them on to communicate with them on a different platform, which we'll cover here in a second, to then bring them on full time. And I'll also drop a link to get a discount on onlinejobs.ph in the description of this lecture if you want to go ahead and grab it. Now, how should you pay them? There's many different ways to pay them. It's going to depend on the specific country that they're from. Obviously, PayPal can pay you know a majority of countries out there. Although if you hire from somewhere like India or you hire from someone like Pakistan, where PayPal actually isn't a, a valid payment processor, you're going to want to use Western Union. Western Union, between Western Union and PayPal, you can pretty much pay anyone, anywhere, for anything. So then how do you communicate with them, right? Because you don't want to stick on, obviously, Upwork specifically. You don't want to just stay on Fiverr. You don't want to just stay on onlinejobs.ph. So what I recommend is you use WhatsApp because from WhatsApp, anybody anywhere in the world can use it data-free. They just need Wi-Fi. And you can see I literally use WhatsApp to communicate with my VAs as well right here, it's pinned to my computer. That brings up the question of how to actually train them, right? You don't just wanna give them like a description of what you want them to do. You actually wanna go ahead and, and build a system around what you want them to do and then create a video recording of how you actually want them to do it and then send that to them as training. Now this can be a few minutes long if it's something as simple as writing a script or a voiceover. Obviously with a voiceover, you don't really need something like a tutorial because it's literally just record yourself reading this, right? But if it's something like video editing or overlaying graphics, obviously you're gonna wanna create a video tutorial for them, okay? And you can see I've done this. I have a lot of video tutorials here. And finally, just a word of advice, you wanna start small, right? You don't just wanna outsource and the very first person that you hire, you give them you know, the entire reins of your business, right? You wanna trust, but verify. You wanna give them small tasks and small tutorials in the beginning. And then if they handle those well and earn more trust, then you can slowly give them more tasks and slowly give them more jobs. But that's the basic formula. It's not complicated. That's where you want to hire from. That's how you can pay them. That's how you can communicate with them, how to train them, and then obviously how to scale it with them.